Sony Computer Entertainment Europe presents... Oh shit, what's this? A Universal Interactive Studios production. Yes, that's what this is. A game created and developed by Naughty Dog. Hello there, this is Jetty Herbert and welcome to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. To begin. Thank you, Mr. Guy. I will press start to begin if you say so. This is, this is Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Why am I playing Crash Bandicoot 3 and not 1? Because this, this is the only one I've ever played. Okay, I have played other ones, but this is the one that I remember the most and I feel like playing this game, so that's what I'm doing. Let's watch this cutscene. So we have some huge explosion and some evil laughing. At last. Well, that doesn't sound too promising. Hey, look, it's Crash and Coco and Mask Guy. Aku Aku, I think. It's not just sounding good. Uka Uka is free. No, it cannot be. Evil, sound like great thing. evil has come. You just locked me out of. Oh, no, I'll get it anyway. None have dared to fail the great Uka Uka even once. But you, Cortex, you have failed me twice. Great oh dear. Uka Uka, it was that infernal bandicoot. From deep inside my temple prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet. I know, we've had a few unfortunate setbacks. And failed! But since your bumbling has managed to set me free, I am shut up being that generous. There is still a way for us to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time the great Uka Uka will make sure that you do it right! After many well, that's not eons, good. my evil twin Uka Uka has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. Yes, let's go and stop him. How are we going to stop him? Children, Uka oh. Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time. I see. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do so. That's to a good idea. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. Seems easy enough. Cool, yeah, so that's what we need to do this game. We need to go around collecting loads of crystals and gems and relics and other shit. And the music in this warp room is just like some of the best music. Just saying, it's kind of great. So as you can see, we can't actually get through these. These are like the later worlds. But for now, we can go into the first world over here. And we have like five buttons we can choose from to enter these levels. Which is cool, cool and all. Like I was saying earlier, the reason I'm playing this, this one as opposed to the previous ones is because this is the only one I had as a kid. I never really played the other ones that early. I was kind of late into the whole PlayStation thing. I only got it like a couple of years before it was over. And I never really got into it either. But, we can play this anyway, so I think it makes sense to start with level 1. What I'll be doing is I will be trying, I'm going to try and get 100%. I've never done it before, but I can always try, so, oh, got a little cutscene here. Crash, Fight crash, games. crash, why must you always muck in my mud? Oh look, I have a mask helping me too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Well, I'm pretty sure yours is more powerful, but mine's for the power of good. So because of that, I'm sure I'll win. That's how it works, and it? Good always prevails. So here we have the first level, Toad Village. Now, the uh, interesting thing about the game, if you haven't played it before, 
you see there's called crystals and gems and all that stuff. To get all the, to get the gem, what you need to do is you need to destroy every single crate in the stage. I tend to use these bouncy ones to get a whole bunch of wimper fruits. They're not apples, they're wimper fruits, that's what they're called. And you only have one hit, so if you take a hit you're dead, but if you collect a mask, then you're you have got like an extra hit basically. So it's like, hey, I take one hit, I lose the mask. If you have no mask, then you die. Now I don't the, these, those boxes, you've got to be watch out. If you leave them too long, they will just turn into a solid box that you can't break, wrecking your chance of getting the gem, which is never a good thing. Like I said, I will be trying to go for getting... I'll try and get all of the gems, all of the relics. The relics will come to later. And all of the... Uh, the crystal. Well, obviously all the crystals, because you can't get through the game without getting all the crystals. These little question mark blocks take you to a bonus stage, which are a nice little fun side scrolly level sort of thing. I do like these ones, they're kind of cool. Collect like, they tend to have a lot of whimper fruits and a whole bunch of boxes, and you do need to actually do them if you want to get the gem. So they do count towards that. Oh, um, can I still get. Okay. <laughs> I'm sick of my screw myself over. Yeah. One thing I find interesting as well, actually, if you spin, you just throw the whimper fruits away, which is kind of cool. Stand on the platform. There we go. And then we get all our stuff. Ah, see, we we're doing pretty well. 100 whimper fruits gets you an extra life. That's how you get extra lives over there. And then we can proceed through the rest of the level. Mr. Mask Guy, you can protect me from these things, but hopefully you won't. I won't need you, because otherwise... You know, it's always nicer if I don't take a hit. Another really cool thing I find is there's a lot of death animations. So probably, hopefully I won't be showing them all off to you, because that means I'll be dying a lot. But I'm sure we'll find some as I make... I'm sure I'll make mistakes. And here we have a crystal, collecting the crystal. That's what we need to... You collect all the crystals in the world to unlock the, the boss of the world to go to the next world. That's how it works, which kind of makes sense. Now, don't dilly-dally here. If it's not the right thing, don't bother. And there we get a gem. That's how you get the gem, by destroying every box in the level, and then you exit the level. So that's the first level, which is pretty easy. It gets a lot harder, trust me on that. It will get a lot harder. I'm likely to fail a bunch, and you know how that goes. Crystal, yep, and gem. Thank you very much, Tiny. Yes, the boss goes. Also, every time you win a level, you get this fantastic dance. I mean, what's not to love about that dance? Obviously, you can skip it as well. Let's see, what's the next level? Level 2 is... Ugh. Oh dear. Okay, this level is a bit of a pain. You'll see why when we get inside it, which is around about now. It's underwater. And you swim like this. It's cool, but it's also quite difficult. Oh, we've got another mask here. There's a whole bunch of, there's like sharks and stuff and everything, and mines and a whole bunch of stuff that I don't want to get killed by, but I could very much get killed by. Also, something I've noticed, the, the music in this level for so, just really reminds me of Jack and Daxter, the original Jack and Daxter, which is made by the same people, uh, same company, so it does make sense. But still, it's just, it gives me a very Jack and Dexter vibe, and I've been a, a lot more familiar with that series as opposed to this one. Oh god, don't, don't, don't let the thing turn into a solid. Okay, that's good. Watch out for these sharks. You can just spin and kill them, it's all good. Let's grab all these boxes too. Watch out for the mine. I don't, oh, that was a stupid thing, and I just wasted my mask. It's not. At least I got another one. Yeah, the mask is kind of. It's got three levels. You have level one, which is you take one hit. Level two, which is you take two hits, and then level three, which is temporary invincibility. Kind of like getting a invincibility star in like the Mario series, if you if you know that. I hope you do, because I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> yeah. Now over here we actually got a weird little. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but some sort of vehicle which can shoot torpedoes and stuff, which is really good for getting all of these boxes and shooting enemies and you actually need it to open the little thing the coral I think it's coral at least these things the red things and you know that's how you get some of these boxes it's also quite difficult to control because you're, it constantly accelerates you forward which can be a bit of a nuisance at times but that's fine do we have all the how many boxes are there 50 oh there's a lot of boxes but make sure you don't take a hit because you do need this to get all the boxes, and some because some of them are hidden in those little things. Oh, I must have already done it. Go through, blow it up, continue for the rest of the level. 
I, I, oh god. For a second, I thought I was going to get caught on the edge there. I, do, I, I mean, I, I kind of like the idea of these levels, but they can be a bit difficult at times. They use that spinning thing quite a bit. Okay, oh, this bit's annoying. If you're quick enough, there we go. Right, I see you down there, box. I'm coming for you. There we go, get that box. Destroy all these boxes as well, using torpedoes. I think they're supposed to be torpedoes. I don't know what else they'd be. Rockets, I guess. No, they wouldn't work underwater. It must be torpedoes. Either way, let's kill the shark and kill the puff fish that's over here. Destroy the coral. Get all of the all of the boxes. Get the crystal too. Uh oh. Quick, 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 quick. I don't care that I missed a chance to get a mask because I need to break it before it breaks. Oh, yeah. There's the gem as well. So that's the first two levels. Like, done in terms of, at least, I mean, we still got the time trial to do, but again, we'll come to that later, because right now, let's just go through the, the levels themselves. Right. Yeah. Under pressure, that's done. With a crystal and a gem. So that's good, and we can now proceed into the next level, which is Orient Express. Oh, this isn't interesting, because you try to jump in, oh, I missed it, and then Coco goes in instead. So your player's Coco. This level, oh boy. These levels are a bit different. I find they're easy to complete, but to get 100% on, that's another story. It's uh, you ride the tiger and you have to get like to get the gems, you need to get all the boxes. If you miss any box, you're going to have to just try and kill yourself to get back to it. And then there's the time trials and that will be even worse. I do like these levels though. They are good fun. Jump over the dragon. Checkpoint, don't hit that because that would take me away from these boxes. It's good, get another life. You do get a lot of lives, but you can go through them very quickly. Especially due to the whole one hit kills you thing. That really does cool. Oh god, almost ran it straight into that guy. But I do have a mask, so I am fine. You can also press square to charge forward, which I'll be abusing the hell out of when I do the... Oh god, please do get up. Okay. Oh god. Okay, I got out. I was gonna miss him. I will be. I'll probably be abusing the dash like too much to the point where it's gonna get me killed so much when I do the time trials. But for now, I think I'm actually not doing too bad. I don't think I've missed a box, and I'm still on my first run. Normally, it takes me a few runs. I might get it done first time though. Who knows? This time you want to not hit the bounce thing. Grab these. There we go. Get this one. Is that all the boxes? That's all the box. Wow. I'm, I'm impressed with myself there. <laughs> First time, and I get every single box and get through to the end. That's surprising, to be completely honest. You have a nice little hug with the, with the tiger guy, collect the gem, and then leave the level, and everything is good. That's how we complete the Orient Express using tiger dashes. Without dashes, you know what I mean. Anyway, so now we have a crystal, and we have a gem, so that's good. So far, so far, we've got all of the crystals and all of the gems on the first three levels. No, no, we've got time for one more, I think. Flip this try. Boneyard. Ooh, there's two gems on this level. Let's see what we can do here. This level is... I always remember having trouble... Oh, hang on, we've got a cutscene here. Uga, Uga, oh and Vortex want face. Tiny get crystals and bring them to Big Colosseum in Rome. Crash! Leave them for Tiny, or Crash get crushed! Oh boy. I'm guessing that's a run in with our first boss. That's gonna be coming up soon, I guess. Oh. Not, uh. Not thingy at all. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Either way, let's. Now, the thing that's make this level unique is you kind of see that the perspective is kind of reversed. We're going downwards. That's because we're running from this guy, and that can be a problem. But as long as you keep fast enough, you'll be fine. And I find as long as you get all the cr crates or boxes. I'm not sure. Are they crates or boxes? I guess they could be either. I've always called them boxes. Checkpoint. And he keeps following you. It's interesting because you're going because this is like all time travel. We've got to get the get. The, you don't want to miss any boxes if you want to go for the gems. That's the thing. You also don't want to. I think on this level is there one where you want to not die, or is it I need another gem before I can get the other gem? It's one or the other. I guess we'll find out as we get there. 
Okay, that's it for that bit. It does also have some of them. Ah, here's a box we haven't seen yet. TNT. You jump on it and a timer goes off and it blows up. That's pretty much all there is to it. Can you also I didn't mention you can do a belly flop with the circle button. Like that. And square is the spin. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Also, a nice thing for speed is you've got a little slide jump, you can do it. This kelp or this weird weird stuff in the water is like annoying but you can destroy it like that yeah I need a red gem before I can get the other gem oh well I hope I can get the actual I hope there isn't any crates in the uh, boxes in the actual well so there's a nitro crate that one's a bit less friendly you just touch it and it blows up immediately so avoid that if possible right we continue through here so you gotta watch out for Cortex's like things there. Oh, we've got a bonus round here. Let's go to the bonus round. I am cool with bonus rounds because they tend to be very fun. They can be quite difficult as well though, so do got to watch out for that. Okay, let's let's start jumping in here. Get all the all the wumper fruits. Give me give me these crates too. Boxes doesn't matter. Okay, let's try breaking it so we get this much. Then I can get up top here. Yeah, and then I can go back and destroy them anyway. That's the way to do it. Slide under here, get all of the wumpers, and then grab these two two last boxes, and then here we go. That's the bonus round done. How many more boxes do we need? That's 21 boxes left. Hopefully, I haven't missed any so far. Let's get rid of some of this grass stuff so I can get through. Kill this guy. Collect these wumpers. Some exclamation mark box that activates these things. Let's try and land on these. Oh god, don't miss that, otherwise I'll be screwed. Yeah! Grab all the wumpers. That's good times. So we've got 23 lives already, blimey. I'm sure I'll be going through them at some point though. Always seem to. Here we've got another section for running for, for running away. Got this. Now an interesting thing about those nitro crates, you might think, well, do they count the crate total? Yeah, they do, actually. And the, the thing about them is that you think, oh, well, do you have to kill yourself to get them? That would be stupid. You're right. There's a there's a box up somewhere along where... See, there's some nitro here. There's a box somewhere, probably coming up soon, where you hit it. That one. It destroys all of the things. Get the gem and get the hell out of there. That was pretty close, actually. I almost got hit. But that wouldn't have killed me because I have a mask anyway. Let's leave this level. We are done here for now. We'll have to come back here a couple of times, once for the time trial, once for the other gem. But that will be done later on, so you know, it's all good. Yeah! Let's go get the crystal, and we got the gem, so that is happy times. And I think that's pretty much all we've got time for. Oh, I think <laughs> might have gone for a bit longer than I thought, oh well. Either way, I think, hopefully you enjoy the series. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.